It's the kind of thing that can cause traffic backups or car crashes. A couch in the middle of the interstate. And that's why the people paid to get rid of those highway hazards have an important job. And as News 13's Lizay Mitri shows you on special assignment, you won't believe some of the things they find blocking traffic. Sandia Albuquerque, 35502. Sandia Albuquerque, go ahead. There was a shopping cart in the lane. I'm headed out over there now. I kept looking over my shoulder. I, I hate to turn my back to traffic. It's a dangerous job. Highway maintenance workers like Christopher Matson pick up all kinds of things on some of the busiest roads in the state. Just when you thought you've seen it all. A canoe on Paseo del Norte, a swimming pool on tramway, even basketball hoops blocking traffic on three separate occasions. Those are actual calls the New Mexico Department of Transportation got last year in District 3, which includes Bernalillo, Valencia, and Sandoval counties. You know, I've had a lot of, of crazy experiences, and I've picked up a lot of weird things on the roadways. District 3 handled more than 1,600 calls in 2018. <laughs> Sending workers scrambling to clear the roadways of tires, furniture, Christmas trees. Everything but the kitchen sink. Well, actually, scratch that. There was a kitchen sink reported near I-25 between Comanche and Montgomery in November. This is just one of the places where everything just gets dumped for now. Matson says this is a little more than four days worth of stuff. Stuff that's not properly secured or tied down on a vehicle that flies out. One woman lost a box full of pictures of her children. Her name was um, on the box, actually, so we were able to reach out to her and let her know that we had found her items. Transportation Department spokesperson Kimberly Gallegos showed us the heartfelt thank you card they got in return. When I saw what was in that box, I almost cried at what I could have lost. Your kindness is amazing. But most of the time, they're picking up tires, pieces of wood and metal, just tons of trash and lots of dead animals. District 3 says it spent nearly $950,000 on cleanup in the last fiscal year. Year. These crews also handle emergency calls like highway spills and closures, damaged guardrails and potholes. But while they're running out across lanes of traffic, getting rid of highway hazards to keep drivers safe, they're hoping those drivers will return the favor. Just keep an eye out for us. Move over if possible. Slow down. We'd like to get home safe too. On special assignment, Lizay Mitri. KRQE News 13. The DOT says two of its cleanup workers were hit by cars and injured on the job in the last year here in District 3.